school bus dropping off kids at the Ramada Inn, a temporary home for many of the Lewiston fire victims. 72 people total, 40 children, staying at three area hotels. Several families have opened their homes, serving as host families on a temporary basis. The city is working to secure more permanent housing. They're talking with landlords who have said, come October 1st, they expect some vacancies to open up. I appreciate all the landlords that have reached out to us and talked about available units. Um, and it's just now matching those units with the family. Another factor, the building next door to the fire sustained damage too, displacing families there, but they may soon be allowed to return. That's yeah. 10 families that if, if we can get them back into 220, yeah. that will ease the housing burden significantly. Some 30 community groups are rallying behind those fire victims who lost everything. The root cellar is one of them, helping with providing food and transportation in the short term. In the long term, how can we support them in starting their new life in their new housing? So we set up a, a fundraiser uh, at, on, on our website just to support that every dollar that's given will go directly to support these families as they start in their new homes. Now the St. Mary's Nutrition Center, they're helping to uh, prepare meals for the families. Community Concepts is accepting donations and New Beginnings is involved as well. Uh, these and other groups, again, helping in this entire effort to get these people back on their feet. Live in Lewiston, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.